Hello everyone, welcome back to Farming Valley episode number 10. Since we last left off, I've done some more mining as you can see. I've gotten back to level 30. And, uh, well, we got a lot more resources now. We got some more stone, we got more wood, we're good to go. I think it's time to head over and talk to Yulif. We also got plenty of money for the time being. We have over 30,000 gold. I've also quit watering pretty much all my crops because they're about to die. As you can see, we're on the 30th of the summer, so we're about to uh, swap over to autumn. And so I'm going to keep watering my industrial hemp because they'll keep growing during that time. But I think it's about time to go ahead and call it a night and uh, see if it's actually going to flip over to autumn or if we have a 31st. I think it's only 30 in every month. Yeah, there we go. So now it's autumn. And here's something to watch out for. <laughs> Starting in autumn, basically every time you wake up in the morning, it's... Oh, that looks weird, that rainbow. Um, it, it's still going to be fairly nighttime, so you're going to have to wait a few minutes before. And someone actually warned me in the comments about this, but yeah. <laughs> you're going to have to wait just a little bit before... Um, Maybe coming out and doing too much because basically mobs are still going to be able to spawn. So it's a little bit of a, a sad face on that part, but yeah. We'll have to keep an eye out and make sure uh, we don't run into anything too bad. Maybe even line up the area a little bit more for for Autumn here. But uh, yeah, looking pretty good. I think it's going to go ahead and get started. We're going to go through the, the basics of the basics. Our little chicken here is still... Still doing his thing. I'm assuming maybe it's just taking longer because it's, uh, you know, maybe a bigger egg. Maybe. I, I have no clue. Maybe it's just a really, really big chicken. <laughs> uh, we do need to get rid of the crops on the farm. Unfortunately, our sickle is about had it. So I'm not really sure how we're going to get rid of these ex besides maybe breaking underneath them or just... Taking our, our long waited time doing this, but this doesn't even show it's doing anything. That's unfortunate. So I'm not sure what we're going to do. Maybe we'll have to just buy another sickle. I've also went ahead and started doing some more leveling and getting ready for winter. As I do believe in winter is when I will more than likely try to work on expanding the farm for the next year. And maybe even expanding the house as well. So let's go see real quick before it gets uh, too late in the day we're gonna go check out can I actually do the sword maybe that would have been interesting <laughs> uh, let's do another quick enchant on another diamond tool I've been finding a good chunk of diamonds down there and I'm just kind of waiting at this point to you know get some fortune uh, that would be wonderful so I did get another comment um, pretty much from a good, good buddy of mine, Toxicity, uh, letting us know that there are also emerald tools. So if you actually need some emerald tools, don't be afraid to go, you know, trade with it. Oh my gosh, yes. <laughs> Just Fortune 3. I'm actually okay with this. I'm actually very okay with this. That is completely fine in my books. I will actually just go ahead and start using this and wearing it down. We'll do that. And then we'll maybe enchant these once we get a little bit more stuff. But yeah, that's wonderful. <laughs> oh yeah. But you can get some emerald tools made. Uh, pretty much the exact same as diamond tools. So same durability, I think the same speed and everything. Just requires emeralds instead. So something cool to look into doing. But let's go ahead and grab some stuff. We're going to start working on getting that cafe up and running today. So we're going to grab a few chunks of those. We're going to grab a few chunks of these just so we have a plentiful amount of everything we're going to need. I do hope. And I have a couple ideas where I may want to put that cafe. And the reason why I want to get the cafe first is because it's got a lot of good stuff. They sell a lot of good things. I also like the way the grass looks in autumn. That looks that, That's really nice. It looks like actually some of the trees have changed as well, like the, the normal vanilla trees. Yeah. Oh, that's interesting. Quiet! I'm so sorry, guys. Let me close that out. <laughs> totally forgot. My bad. I know it bothers some people. Building the best buildings for you. You always do, you Yulif. You always do. So there we go. There's the cafe. As you can see, we got a little bit more gold. And let's go and do it. Boom, cafe in our pockets, right there. 
Yeah, not too bad. All right, so I, I think what we're going to do is we're going to bring our horse over. We're going to lash him over here to the mining hut. And I think where I want to put this is maybe right in here. This is what I'm thinking. Kind of like right next to the general store here. I'm not sure how this is going to work with my farm. I'm hoping it's fine. Because I really don't know how big it is. Like from front to back. You know what I mean? So let's just go ahead and give it a try. Let's see how it works. Yuluf, get to work my good man. All right, let's get back to the farm. Hello? There we go. And I'm going to get out of his way. Let him do his stuff. So I'm assuming it may come back to, like, right about... Maybe this is the back of it. Might go a little bit further. But that's fine. I like the, the fact that we, we're going to need to travel to the town a little bit in order to get there. So we'll have to kind of come this way and around in order to get to the town. I think that'll work out really, really well. So what I'm going to do, guys, I'm going to have to go do a few things. <laughs> Got googly eyes on your butt today, Pona. I'm going to have to name you as well. Um, maybe... I wish I knew how to get this darn thing repaired. Because I wouldn't mind getting some... I'm assuming once this thing's dead, I'm not going to be able to use it anymore. Oh, no, I still can. So, okay. Maybe I just can't harvest with it. Maybe that's what it is. I can still break with it. Okay, that's good. And I think we're going to probably go ahead and try to start expanding the farm a little bit, too. And that does kind of bother me. Maybe it doesn't get any more experience afterwards. But let's go ahead and make our way to... The general store, I think they're open today. Are you mad? Yeah, you don't seem mad. Hey, you Luf, doing a great job, man. Keep up the good work. Thursday through Friday, cool. Jenny, Jenny, I need to speak with you. Are you open? Please tell me you haven't closed already. I need to buy things from you, Jenny. Welcome to the general store. How may I help you? I need some, I need some crops. Oh, we got eggplants now, we got carrots. We got sweet potatoes. Oh, I love sweet potatoes. Beetroot, grass, wheat, and industrial hemp. Okay, so it looks like one of the better ones are probably going to end up being maybe the sweet potatoes and maybe the beetroots. Possibly even carrots, too. I'm just, I, I kind of like the ones that you don't want to replant all the time. You know what I mean? Um, so let's do... Four of those. We're going to do four of those. And maybe four of these. Still going to keep making that money. <laughs> We're going to try. We're going to try to keep making that money. I like how they actually change inside the store too, which does bother me just a little bit. Right, I, I, I kind of want to be careful here. I don't want to get plucked by Yulif while he's doing his, his, his work there. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go ahead and work on the farm a little bit. Let Yulif kind of finish his thing. Take to, take uh, care of our cow over there. And we'll be back in just a minute after I get a little bit of a farm worked on. And hopefully maybe Yulif is going to be finished. So we'll see you back in a second. Alright guys, we're back. And I got the farm all nice and watered and set up. We got our we got three rows of four here of the crops that we just bought. And I accidentally kind of messed up here. Um, don't punch these. <laughs> so I was just checking something. And, uh, well, I punched it and, well, now it's gone. But uh, then I also checked to see if we could still harvest with a sickle. And we can. So check that out. Now we got ourselves a good source of industrial hemp coming in to our pockets. And I do believe we could probably sell this. Um, as much as I really don't want to, but I'm going to actually sell one. I want to see. We're going to see if it accepts one. No, actually, it does not. Okay, so you can't sell that. I thought maybe you could sell every crop, but apparently you cannot. So we also found over the night our little friend hatched out of his egg. So now we got a little chick. 
Yay. So I've already fed them and picked them up and everything. So I'm going to take this other egg and we're going to get that going as well. So we're probably going to need to get another nest box here very soon, which would probably be a pretty good idea. But let's go ahead and close this up and let's go see how Yuluf is doing working on the cafe and hopefully maybe even done. Wait, did I? Oh, I think they're underground. I see some little red dots over there. Yeah, he's almost done. Okay, well, that's not the worst thing in the world. Um, what I'm going to do, actually, let me... Did I just hear a... Maybe he broke some glass. Eh, maybe. We're going to go inside of the mining uh, hill for just a moment. Someone also mentioned something about breaking rocks. And I think they actually repopulate every single day. So it's, it's pretty much if you if you take out something in one area uh, the next day it should still be there we're not going to be in there for just a minute i want to check out some stuff but uh i do believe you also don't need to right click on this i think you just need to push yourself onto it and you're good to go so yeah see i think we broke every rock in here when we were first in here and they look like they're repopulated but let's go ahead and make our way down a level or two and just kind of see yeah, see, I think this, uh, I would have probably gotten this, but someone said something about a uh, a jump break. Oh, there you go. Yeah, that, that works out really well. Very well, in fact. Yeah, I like that a lot. That'll work out great. Um, Yeah, so I guess we'll just keep getting some copper while we're here for just a minute. We're not going to go too far down to where we need to use the escape rope or anything. Um, but we're just going to get a little bit more of this copper in here. We could get some more of the junk ore. We could just get the junk ore. But I really don't want to waste too much durability on this. Um, until I can get it upgraded. Which we are going to need some money for that as well. But yeah, I think that'll be good. That's just a nice little handy thing to know. For those of you guys that are playing along. Or, you know, just didn't know maybe. Um, I, I think I remember actually using it. I totally forgot. So I appreciate it when you guys give me those little... Uh, tips like that and you don't see me actually doing it or telling everyone about it because most of the time I probably forgot so and that was that case I pretty much forgot so that that's good to know I would love to talk to our blacksmith friend though and see if maybe now that the cafe is being constructed maybe we can start looking into upgrading our tools that would be wonderful hello Daenerys need some tools step right up chat if there's Anywhere else I'd rather be than here, it's in the end. <laughs> Did I tell you about my adventures there? Oh, wait. Have we met? I'm De Niro, the blacksmith. Do you need any help? Um. I do not know anything. Oh! There we go. Maybe that's... Uh, wow. Okay. That's good, then. I'll be happy to teach you. The first step is to get your tools to the stage where they can even be up can even be upgraded. If you notice they have a percentage bar, when this is at 100%, just bring them to me. I'll also need some ore to work with, as well as payment for my services. I'll work on them for a few days, then you can have your tools bank fully upgraded. You may be asking me how to get the materials you need. Well, you'll need to head down the mine. Taking with a hammer, you can find nodes down there, which you can... Smash with a hammer to obtain ore. Anyway, that's about it. Yeah, Brandon the miner has a gift for you, though. Oh, really? I bet he's going to give me another hammer. Can you upgrade this, though? Always happy to sell some fine tools. No, I, I kind of want you to upgrade this. Chat. Okay, I guess maybe I have to talk to him first. All right, so let's talk to, to Brandon over here. I don't like this. This is so fun. <laughs> Got these own, like, little quests. This is, I really like this mod. It's really, really awesome. Come get your rare gems, chat. Eh, yeah, hello there. I've just been down to mine, and, well, it's pretty terrible. Since you got me to, t to this town, I may tell just... I may as well just give you the junk I found. Tank it. I don't want it. knew it I've got some rare materials right here chat if I wasn't into mining I'd probably chisel the three rocks not sure why three though <laughs> okay alrighty let's go talk back to our blacksmith again <laughs> need some tools step right up people call me crazy around here for believing in dragons 
They'll see when they reach the end, and they'll no longer call me a fool. Anyway, always happy to sell you some fine tools. This I can do. Come back in three days to collect your upgraded tool. Okay. Alright, so now we can't water anything. Need some tools? Step right up. Unless I buy another watering can in the time being, which is probably one of the better ideas, honestly. So we can keep watering our crops, and he will upgrade our watering can to the next tier, so that'll make watering the farm a lot easier and a lot more helpful. So I'm thinking, once this is all done, we'll have a nice little pathway over this way that comes around. I was also thinking about maybe setting up some kind of fountain, maybe around in the center of town here. And we got a few more buildings, and I'm thinking the fishing hunt we can maybe put here-ish, next to the pond. And the town hall is going to be kind of big, so I'm not really sure where I'm going to put that. Plus, I need a nice entrance into town from where my farm is. So we're going to have probably a pathway coming out this way. We'll have some trees along the backside of this here just to kind of make it look a little bit nicer. I'm just kind of giving you guys a little bit of my plans and my thoughts on the matter. Hope you guys don't mind. But uh, yeah, we'll uh, hopefully see how that works out very soon. So I guess what we're going to do, guys, is I'm going to go ahead and just sit here and kind of wait for you to finish that now. And we'll go check out what's inside the cafe once he's done so I will be back in just a minute we may have to end up going to the next day as well so uh, we'll see you guys back in just a minute and a day of rain so I kind of oh and a creeper on a roof apparently of <laughs> my barn how wonderful so uh, well the nice thing is we didn't necessarily need to buy a watering can today because it's raining so we got a couple more days left before he's finished upgrading our watering can and I don't know if we're gonna get it back today but we'll uh maybe we'll see but I think the cafe is indeed done we're seeing people inside now and bad things along the way which is oh dear wonderful let's actually pull our, pull our horse over this way get him set up there and we're gonna take care of this little threat here real quick hopefully that oh god this is legendary our sword is level four, so we should be okay, as long as we do this right. Professional! Oh yeah. <laughs> uh, not that great, but I did well, I think. Um, Alright, so we're open every day from 9.30 to 5 p.m. Oh, nice. Let's get out of the rain then. Hello, Granny Catlin, how are you? Someday, I'll make you the best blanket you've ever seen. Thank you. Um, much, ooh, cake! Ooh, pie! And steak on the wall. What's in the chest? Sugar and apples. I may come in here and grab some of that eventually. The cake I may... Why is there a ladder there that goes up to nothing? I may have to eat some of that cake soon. All right, let's head upstairs and see what's going on up here. Oh, hello, Liara. Hello, Liara. Serving it all up. Welcome, shop. All right, so, oh, wow. So they basically sell free bottles of water. Okay, that's very good to know. Also sell some different types of food. We also have a recipe book, and as you can see, we can actually start setting up our kitchen now. And we can buy a lunchbox. Done. Oh, my goodness. One million gold for the ultimate furnace. Now, this is actually really cool and I may end up saving up some money to end up getting one of these especially this one this is the best of the best of the best love that one boiled spinach recipe okay so I'm guessing we're gonna need recipes to know this how much is this to buy all of this wait I don't think this is everything either because I think there's a frying pan we need to get at some point as well let's actually talk to her chat welcome to my cafe I am Liara the owner here we show a true passion for cooking and bringing or bring you the best food you can find. I'm happy to teach you how to cook if you don't know how. Um, I, I do indeed. Well, that's just awesome. I'm happy to teach you. To get started, you're going to need some sort of utensil. The most basic one would be a kitchen counter and combo with a knife. You also need to know how to prepare a recipe. You can buy a bunch from me, but here's pickled turnip to start with. You'll just have to add it 
to your knowledge with a right click. To see it, just grab yourself a recipe book, select the utensil, and then the recipe. You'll be able to see a list of items on the right hand side that you will need. If you have the ingredients in the utensil in place, clicking cook will place all the ingredients, in, I'm assuming on the counter or wherever, uh, counter of course, and then you'll need to chop with right click instead. You'll need additional cookware. I'm happy to sell them to you, but they're only available at weekends. Oh. Well, it is Saturday. <laughs> One last thing. The recipes in the book are the very basics. You should try experimenting with adding extra ingredients. And you might be able to make a better version. Thanks for your time. Thank you for your time. What did you give me? Oh, she gave me the counter, the recipe book, and the knife. Very nice. All right, so let's go ahead and talk to her one more time. Let's go ahead and buy the oven and the fridge. There goes our money. <laughs> there goes the money. All right, so let's go ahead and... Dun, 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 dun. Nice, we learned how to make pickled turnips. So this place looks really nice. They did a great job on this. It looks wonderful. Hello, Granny. Can I speak with you one more one more time? Someday I'll make the best. Okay, yeah. Um, actually, okay. We need to click one more time. Come back here. So shop opens when? If you want to see what I sell, come back Friday, Monday, and Tuesday between five to sixteen hundred. Okay, so Monday would be the closest day. All right, so we can go start setting up our kitchen now. How wonderful! Now I, oops. I wouldn't mind talking to our good buddy Yulif again soon, but uh, we just got this nice and set up. I think that looks pretty good right there next to the general store, in my opinion. Might have to get rid of the bushes, though. The bushes kind of got a little tall, but I know how to stop that. You just put a piece of string on top, if we so care to do so. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and see if we can set up our kitchen. Check it out. I'm assuming there's a couple more that we're going to need. I think there's a blender and a frying pan as well. Um, they may sell different things on different days. But I think, let's go ahead and put up uh, our kitchen counter right here. And we'll do the oven. Oven here. And then we'll put the fridge right there. Oh, man. Those actually don't look that bad, in my opinion. All right. And then we got our recipe book. Utensils. Kitchen counter. Welcome to the build your own recipe book. Inside, you can often find nothing. You'll need to teach yourself a few recipes first. You can buy some from the cafe. There's also a rumor going around that the townspeople have some of their secret recipes of their own. Perhaps you should get to know them too. Ooh, good to know. Well, I can't really make the thing because I don't have any turnips. <laughs> That's the downside. And it doesn't look like it really does too well. But uh, this this is pretty neat, and I do believe yes, we can actually use this. Oh, is that two 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 separate inventories right there that I see? Let's find out. Let's put some uh, let's put some like meat in the frid in the freezer. Oh no, but just one inventory. Okay, good to know. Still, anyways, and it auto sorts, which is wonderful. And can we still do this? Okay, no, I guess it doesn't work. The lunchbox will not work with that. So what we can do is pull all of this out, put it into a chest real quick. And if I'm not mistaken, we can grab, just right click with it open and it'll go ahead and fill up with stuff that uh, you haven't ate recently or the least amount of. So that's pretty nice. Oh, look at that though. We got ourselves a nice little kitchen. That's so cool. Very, oh, yes, and we need to figure out how the heck, where do I put the knife at? I have no idea where to put the knife. Can I make a rack? Uh, I can buy that one from Ulif. Is there another one, maybe? I guess not. I may want to buy that from you. That would probably be very, very helpful. Or I could just put it in the fridge, right? Actually, you cannot put it in the fridge. You can only put food in the fridge. All right, that makes sense. I mean, who wants a cold knife? That sounded a lot worse than I thought it would. Uh, the, yeah, that's very nice, though. So we want to leave this open and then 
as it's open, that allow us to uh, basically go ahead and start working on eating out of that. So let's go ahead and sleep through to the next day. And we're going to go back to the cafe in just a minute. Is it going to rain again today? Fortunately not. So, yeah, we want to get over here as quickly as possible. I'm going to go ahead and start watering the farm up. And I haven't really done this with you guys today, so it's fine. This is basically what I try to do is I try to rush over here before mobs start spawning too close. And just go ahead and get the farm all nice and watered. And then I try to take care of my, my other little friends, my, my chickens and my, my cow. And do that before the sun comes up. Kind of like a true farmer, you know what I mean? We're like real farmers here. Farmer Bentley. Let's fill up our watering can. So, as you can see, we are going to need our watering can for this day. As we did not get lucky to see it raining two days in a row. Oh my goodness. That is a fairly strong looking skeleton making his way towards me. All of them are. I'm just going to go ahead and scoot this way just for a minute. And we're just going to keep eating in our lunchbox for a moment. <laughs> Son, hurry up. Please. I need you. Oh, my goodness. I could just kind of break into my house. This is the worst place to break into my house. Technically, I can't because then I'm going to have to replace that. Yeah, I can't really do that. All right, so there's the sun. They should start burning momentarily. I'm going to go ahead and sneak past them and jump into my chicken coop. Let's take care of our, our little chicken friends. All right, so they should be good and fed, so I just need to plop and replace them. So I should probably spend my time and try to go back through and maybe talk to some of the... All right, fine. If you guys want to go outside, just don't die to the skeletons, please. That would be great. Thank you. Um, I probably should talk to some of the other townspeople about... I'll, I'll You know what? We'll do the cow in a little bit. I should talk to them about how to possibly see if they have anything of knowledge. Because I have noticed I have been missing that. Which is a little unfortunate. Well, let's come in here. Let's see. Oh, hi, Jim. How you doing, buddy? Hello, Liara. Make sure to drop by the cafe on Tuesdays. There's always something special. All right, so they're not quite open yet. I think they open in just a second. I think they said for nine, I believe. Let's double check. Make sure we're clear. Yeah, actually, 9.30. Okay. Well, that's not the worst in the world. Things are looking up, though. I love it. We could talk to our blacksmith friend and maybe see if he can tell us how much longer. I'm wondering if he does have, like, a timer on it. Sorry to say your tool is not quite ready. Please come back in one day's. Okay. One day's it is. <laughs> Be happy to come back in one day's. No worries. Oh, man. The town is so coming together. Hello, Ashley. I'm so towered working with chickens. It's such hard work. Yeah, I'm sure it is. Hey, Jim. Bye, Jim. What's your favorite animal? Blinds the fox. The spiteful buggers. Wonderful. All right, now we should be able to talk to Liara. Hello. Dinner's up. Chat. Okay. Oh, and during season. Oh, okay. So let's go ahead and see... She has anything different? Ah, so now we have access to the cooking pot and the frying pan, which I am probably going to buy. So there we go. And toasted rice balls recipe. You know, it's not that much. I'm just going to take it. Boop. Dun, da, 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 da. How wonderful. Very nice. I like it. But... Unfortunately, that's going to have to do it for today. I'm going to go ahead and say thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed today's episode of Farming Valley. And if you guys did, please be sure to hit that like button. It really helps me out. And lets me know you guys are still enjoying the series. That might be a bad idea, especially if he... Yeah, let's not do that. Um, hit that like button. It really helps me out and lets me know you guys are still enjoying the series. And be sure to check out... The description for some really awesome things. <laughs> uh, there's some really awesome uh, stuff down in the description below, like to the Twitter, to my stream, stuff like that. I will be live streaming tonight as well, so if you guys are interested and want to come hang over uh, with us, uh, I'm probably going to be playing a completely different game than Minecraft. We're going to probably be playing some Just Cause 4. 
Um, I know a lot of people are kind of not too big on it, maybe, and that's fine, but I, I just want to try to play something a little bit different for a little while um, on my stream. So if you guys are interested and want to come check that out, by all means. And uh, if you guys have any helpful tips, tricks, or comments, feel free to put them in the comment section down below. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Until then, goodbye.